Hello, my name is Mark Bonner and I'm founder and co-creative director of a studio in London called GBH. We're communication specialists. We do tiny things and vast, massive things. Some projects are quite small and short. Some projects last a couple of years. Let me give you some examples. Postage stamps for raw mail, the rocket livery for Virgin Galactic, and all sorts of things in between. We've worked for Eurostar, for Puma, the America's Cup, Sao GP. We've worked for the Italian national football team. Ah, it's a massive list. One thing unites all this stuff, art direction. Art direction is a science. It's a wonderful alchemy where you study your audience and you think about how to get their attention and you wrap that in a beautifully simple, elegant idea and you execute that idea to get that thinking to that audience in a way that they will never forget. Getting together a killer portfolio starts with thinking about who you want to see it. Just like any project, you have to study the audience first. Basic fundamentals of art direction, right? Who's it for? What are they like? What are their behaviours? What kind of place do they work in? What kind of projects have they done? You've got to build a massive picture of the intended audience in your mind and use that intel to select the work, right? It's simple. There are different ways that you can um, modify your portfolio depending on the audiences you're showing it to, right? I have a, a favourite phrase around this. To catch a mouse, you have to make a noise like a cheese, okay? So find different ways of catching different mice, okay? If you're showing it to a branding studio, go branding heavy. If you're showing your work to a packaging studio, consider brand, but make sure you've got physical three-dimensional things in there too. Think about what's right for each audience you're showing. Use the password protected pages to do that. Run tests in there, you know? You can have stuff that's private that only you can see where you're trying something more radical, you're making rough cuts, you're being a bit more dramatic about the way you're putting your work together. Use that functionality to run tests. So, first project. Start spectacularly, okay? Saturate the senses, the imagery should be amazing, right? You've gotta get them leaning forward. Whoa, what's that? That looks fantastic. Tell me about this and then tell them about it, but not in a complicated way, in a simple way, right? Make sure that the images you choose to do this are simple um, but effective. Show your craft, show your thinking, show your skill and your judgment, show your image making ability. If it's brand identity, start with a mark, right? That's what everybody wants to see first. Then make sure that they understand that that's just the top of an iceberg, right? And there's a massively rich visual language that lies underneath it. Make sure they properly understand all that stuff, um, but do it in a simple way. Don't take your audience on some kind of roller coaster ride where they think, whoa, this person's amazing. Second project, mm. third project, no, I'm wrong about them. Fourth project, no, I might be right about them. I think that's amazing too. Fifth project, Mm, don't do that to them, right? Up, 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 up. That's the only way. That's the only way to get hired. Maybe the most important thing of all. It's kind of lifelong important. You've got to differentiate. Differentiation. Obsess about that word, right? Use the templates. The templates are awesome but flex them, manipulate them, morph them, transform them, hack them to pieces, okay? Look to make a completely unique version of your work. So when you're visualizing your work, right, you've got a lot of choice. Um, there's a lot of stock imagery that you can choose, but be smart about choosing that stuff, right? Make sure you get what you really want. Don't just go for the stuff that's most popular or right at the top of the search lists or the stuff that's being pushed to you, right? Make sure it's the image you really need and, and be obsessed about differentiation. Try and make sure that the image you make is unique. Hack it again and manipulate it, modify it. Don't just use it straight out of the tin, okay? Um, find the right way for the tonality in your project to express that application. 
Don't force fit your work into a pre-existing image, okay? It's about choosing an image that's dialed in psychologically in feeling to the tonality of the project you're making, okay? Don't let the record skip there, right? Make sure that tonally they're nice and synced. The last thing, think about the quality of the images, the videos, and everything that you use. Make sure everything is top, okay? The resolution of everything's got to be fantastic. All the videos have got to work beautifully. Audio's got to be amazing. Put that craft in. Make sure that you don't leave anything on the table. So, the tools are there, right? They're just spaces waiting for your best stuff. Think about what you're going to put in. Think about who it's for. And absolutely obsess about being unique.